so by now you've heard of Peru. Gorgeous beaches, stunning women, first class beach clubs, and you've also heard of this guy. If you're a fan of all those things, you've probably heard of Casa Malca. This was Pablo Escobar's private beachfront retreat, which has since become an art hotel. A day here comes at an expensive price. Is it worth it? We found out. Casa Malca is absolutely one of those destinations that you just have to experience if you make it down to Tulum. Right on the beach, immaculate, gorgeous, stunning. There aren't really a lot of words that describe it particularly well. Hammocks on the beach, beds for you to relax, some of the best cocktails you can possibly have in the entire area. The food is extraordinary, art installations, the service is top notch, the pools, the people are beautiful. You really can't go wrong. For $150 a person for a day pass, how can you beat it? Oh, hi there. Where are you today? We're at Casa Malta. Is it the most gorgeous place you've seen in Tulum to date? It is. It is actually the most sargassumly free place that I've seen. It's pretty remarkable. It's still a beautiful beach. We're enjoying this magnificent property for the day on a Friday. What more can you do than indulge Pablo Escobar's private beachfront estate? Or at least it was, but we'll say it is because that's way more fun. Did you ever think you'd be hanging out at a drug kingpin's private beachfront estate? Oh God, that's, that's something every woman's mother wants to hear that their daughter is doing. But no, I've never thought that I would be here. Sometimes Christina is very real like that. Anyway, we're really excited to be here. We're gonna show you the tour of the place. We're gonna hit the pool. We're gonna have some drinks. We're gonna have some magnificent food from all four of the fantastic restaurants that they have on the property. And most importantly, cocktails. Gotta stay hydrated. Oh, nice. Gracias. Christian's the man. He makes sure that we stay well hydrated out here. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. What do you got there? Is that a margarita maracuya? Is that a drink or is that a drink? It's the best drink I've ever had in my life. You know, it's kind of hot out here. I think it's time to go for a swim. How's the pool treating you so far? Lovely. You would absolutely expect Pablo to have impeccable taste in pools. Boy, was he correct. What a venue, right? What are those stairs for? Oh, Christina asked a very important question. She wants to know what those stairs are for. We're gonna go find out. So Pablo was all about his privacy, which is why there were secret pools. One in particular, check this out. Thank you. 
fantastic is that? Pretty magnificent beach out here. Oh, well, that was a pretty spectacular pool. I'm a fan of the underground one more than the main one, but that's only because there's so many people here today. Too much traffic on the beach. I hate crowded beaches. Time to relax and maybe have a little snack. All that swimming helped me work up quite an appetite. Tight. Are you hungry? I'm ready. Ooh, let's see what the menu has. Let's do it. It's a spicy tuna roll at the beach. Pretty spectacular, I would say. If that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what does. Oh, yeah. Sushi on the beach? Gucci on the beach? You gotta try it. Gucci sushi? Are those Doritos? No. Mm. Passable, right? Has a little caviar on top. Oh my god. Epic. Two sticks up. Mmm. Yeah. Pretty great. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Chef's kiss with chopsticks. Having a good time yet? Look at that ring. What is that? Mexican fire opal. A Mexican fire opal. That's gorgeous. What you got? Is that something good? <laughs> Wait, this is the octopus. Oh. Oh, wow. wow. Pulpo relleno, estilo Yucatan. Mm. Ooh. Enjoy. Gracias. Gracias. Let's make sure we got this straight. She's got some sushi. And now she has... Octopus. Octopus? Unbelievable. Pretty excited about that. Here we go. Octopus. I wish I could find the words to tell you how delicious that really is. It's soft. It has this perfect texture to it that's just slightly crispy, but the flavor is like, mm, I don't know. Phenomenal. Look at this. It's like charred. The sauce is just unbelievable. Whoa. Microgreens, down.
over here. Down she goes. It's okay, I should not drink the whole bottle. That'll work. It's new. All bottles for you. Oh, I'm sleeping here. Tequila Don Julio Silva. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. All right. Set that right down there. We'll get to it. Oh. Well, that about wraps up our trip here at Casa Malka. It's been an extraordinary day. I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you get a chance to come out here and enjoy it for yourself. It's truly exquisite. Salute. Until next time, stay healthy.